wow um it's approaching honestly just about a year um wow man wow <laughs> just about a year since i have <sighs> gave up my will and given my life to christ and Wow, a year doesn't feel like a year when you walk with the Lord. It's like you got your time back when you did get your time back because sin steals your time. But this year has felt like a five-year walk with the Lord. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. But it's only been a year, but wow, I've learned so much. Like the Lord has taught me so much. He's cleaned me, washed me up from so much, and he's gonna continue to teach me. He's gonna continue to clean me wash me up and get me ready for the wedding so man um as i started to reflect on this year that i've had uh being in christ jesus and all honestly this like my life <laughs> my life was not good before christ like i was lying to myself the part and drinking everything else that like it was not fun it was not enjoyable i always felt like i just couldn't be fulfilled completely but now that my life has been given to christ for a year and i've been so steadfast so intentional with getting to know my lord and savior haven't been perfect but oh man i've just been so intentional so focus on the Lord and seeking the kingdom of righteousness first before anything um, I want to articulate through the empowerment of the Holy Spirit I want to articulate this free gift that we get from God and it's definitely taught but I feel like the thoroughness of this thing needs to be uh understood because lord god like like just a mere part of the flesh or yet yeah, a mere part of the flesh of you thinking that you are doing this thing and the result is going to come from you doing this thing grace transcends that you know because we're not saved off of us being righteous or self-righteous or we're not saved off of our works we're simply saved by the grace of god it's a free gift the grace of god through our lord and savior jesus by putting faith in jesus more than anything so oftentimes if you're um, an intentional follower of christ especially how i told myself in the beginning like I said, Lord, I'm going to give the same effort I gave to my fitness, to getting to know you and cultivating a relationship, relationship with you, letting you mold me, craft me, shape me into the likeness of your heart. I'm going to give that same energy, that same effort. And through me doing that, <laughs> indirectly, um, I was in stewarding grace properly in regards to myself. I was good at I was always good at giving other people grace, but the grace I need to give myself I wasn't good at because like with my training, like <laughs> I'm very hard on myself in training. You know what I mean? There was one point I was even harder. So you know, and this isn't um this isn't good because there ain't nothing you can do. Like look like, the only thing you can fully do with all of your heart is look at Christ. That's the only thing focus on christ and focus on being like christ and putting your faith in the lord being right with god through christ that's the only thing you can do there isn't no oh i'm not smoking weed i'm saved oh i'm not drinking or i'm saved oh i oh i ain't shacking i'm saved now these things do a transform life is important through christ but you know you not doing a certain thing doesn't make you better than somebody else and Oh, even if you don't do all these things But your faith isn't in Christ Even if you don't smoke, you don't drink, you don't fornicate You don't cheat or You, you know what I'm saying? You don't do all these sins in the, the law of Moses Or in just in the Old Testament 
But that doesn't make you saved. Like, it's just Jesus that makes you saved. So, I truly wanted to uh, articulate this because, man, on this walk, you're not going to be perfect. You're going to be learning to the day you die. And, oh, it's kind of, I mean... It's just like, man, it's kind of parallel to the gym. Like, you're not always going to be the strongest. You're not always going to be uh, getting strong. I mean, you can't always be progressively improving, and that's what I've been doing in Christ. But, you know, there's going to have to be certain little key things you're going to have to learn to become better. That's how it is in fitness. It's the same way with your spiritual walk with God. You know, you're going to have to learn these smaller key things. A small little little thing that's... uh that can make you like profoundly better so acts chapter 15 verse 8 through 11 god who knows the heart showed that he accepted them by giving the holy spirit to them just as he did to us he did not discriminate between us and them for he purified their hearts by faith By faith, he purified their hearts. By faith, he gave them the Holy Spirit. He didn't discriminate and be like, okay, y'all are following this set of law, so I'm going to give them the Holy Spirit, not y'all. Because y'all ain't drinking. <laughs> because y'all ain't smoking, I'm going to give y'all the Holy Spirit, not y'all. Like, he, he gave them the Holy Spirit just by faith. Simple. Let me continue. Now then, why do you try to test God by putting on the necks of Gentiles a yoke that neither we nor our ancestors have been able to bear. My goodness. No, we believe it is through the grace of our Lord Jesus that we are saved just as they are. The yoke, <laughs> a yoke that neither we nor our ancestors have been able to bear. You know, it's, it's the old covenant that Mankind just simply hasn't been able to bear the fullness of. Like, like seriously, since sin was born in the world through Adam. Bro, like, you mean to tell me them folks was able to keep the entire uh, old covenant completely without making one mistake? They were not able to do that. Now, when they made it, like when Moses probably made a mistake... He repented for sure. And he lived a life of repentance and fought on the Lord wholeheartedly, even though he made mistakes. Oh, no. Um, but we're just not capable. Like, like you you, you do want to try to the best of your degree to follow the word in its totality. But essentially, you're following the word in, in, its, in its totality by following Jesus. That's the only way you're saved. Not if you have earrings or not. Not even if you have... Bro, like, it's just, you really got to know why you're saved and the grace you have, the free grace you have, because it's undeserving grace. It's, you don't deserve it. So, oftentimes when I didn't miss the mark, man, like, like, I'm doing really good in this one, this one season, like, doing really good for a certain amount of time, for a long time, then I missed the mark. Then I miss the mark again. And I get back on and I'm doing good. I'm doing really good. And I miss the mark. And I miss the mark. And it's like, bro, like, just that that level of grieving the Holy Spirit. And, it, like, I didn't understand God's grace. And I, I truly want to be the best I can. So missing the mark just made me, or the enemy would try to be in my ear saying, oh, you're just not, you're just not good enough for this. Like, oh, like, can you actually do this? Like, is this actually possible? Like, I don't think you can actually do this. This isn't actually possible. But it's the grace that makes the improvement possible. Knowing that I have this free gift from God and it's through Jesus, I just have to keep following Jesus. I won't always be perfect. None of us are perfect other than Jesus. This is Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4 through 10. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. And God raised us up with Christ and seated us 
with him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus in order that in the coming ages, the coming ages, that means whatever other years after Christ was caught up to the sky to go be with the Father at, at his right hand, the coming ages, in order that in the coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace. The incomparable riches of his grace. Expressed in his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God. Not by works. So that no one can boast. For we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works. Which God prepared in advance for us to do incomparable riches of his grace you know there's sins that you're going to be committing um unintentionally <laughs> that's sins you're committing unintentionally right now but by the grace of god you're forgiven as long as you're in christ so you have to be in in christ to have this gift if you're not in christ <laughs> Man, if you're not in Christ, you actually will receive condemnation. Like, like if you're not in Christ, you, this this gift is only if you're in Christ. You can know Bible, read Bible, know Bible front to back. But if you don't, don't have your faith in Christ and and you're not following Christ, and you're not living a life of repentance, you don't have this gift of grace. So that way, when you do sin, it actually it destroys you. It takes you further and further back. And next thing you know, you're just a person knowing Bible, but your heart posture isn't sincere to the Lord. So you have to be in Christ for this, for this free gift. And it's like it says, not by your works. It's like there ain't nothing you can do, bro. There's 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 nothing you can do that makes you saved. You just have this free gift because you're in Christ and you're worshiping Christ and you're following Christ because that's how you made it right through God. There isn't nothing you can do. Now, and nothing you can do, this isn't a uh, opportunity for you to use free grace uh, to be a bad steward of, of free grace. This is not that opportunity. But this is the grace you need to be in mind about giving yourself. Be disciplined and be uh, consistent and and, and, and involving in Christ But You know You have to understand Like you're not gonna Christ is the only person That went 82 and 0 in a season You know that's 82 games In the basketball season right Christ is the only person That went 82 and 0 You can go 82 and 1 In the season Not 82 and 1 You can go 81 and 1 In the season You know what I mean You're not going to Win every battle Now the battle the war is won through Christ. The enemy is defeated through the blood of Jesus. But putting so much stress on yourself, this is for the person that could be stressing themselves out by not giving themselves enough grace because, man, I have, I, I have been doing that. I've been there. I've been so serious with this stuff. So very serious. And it's like, bro, there ain't, like, <laughs> there ain't nothing I can do. Now, the, the, the curses are being, all my ancestors and my predecessors are being broken through the blood of Jesus, through me following Jesus, but it's not my work that's breaking the curses. It's the Lord's work in me that's breaking the curses. Christ did the work for you. He did it for me. He did it for all of us. That's why we're saved by grace. So, yeah, just don't let somebody who's a little bit over religious to, you know, just make you think you have to be absolutely perfect because you're not i'm not saying be soft and just give in to sin no that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is we all struggle with something we all suffer with something with something it could be pride for one person it could be being religious for the next person it could be lust for one person it could be anger for the next person it could be drunkenness for the next person it could be idle mindedness for the next person. It could be um oh what else? It can be 
gluttony for the one person and it can be something else for the next person so it's just so essential to realize that you can put in all the hard work you can possibly do bro you can get your give your blood sweat and tears that's just gonna wear you out and the enemy's gonna use your lack of knowledge of stewarding grace properly for yourself and for others to wear you out and i really feel like that has been upon me this month and last month as i'm getting uh around the as it's been a year of me being in christ law like like sometimes like before i had this deep deeper revelation of, of the profoundness of grace that transcends me that transcends my generation my children to come it's going to be my faith in the lord that my children are going to have grace by my faith in the lord so you know, I was wore out. I was just like tired, wore out. Like, man, I'm fighting these things. I'm fighting. I'm, I'm like, I'm just, I'm fighting this flesh, this wicked, evil flesh so much. It's, give, it's making, it's giving me thoughts. I don't even want to have these thoughts. You know, my thoughts It's giving me feelings that I'm not even thinking. Like, I don't want to do that. I'm not thinking about this, but it's doing what it wants to do. That's why God ultimately knew this. And that's why we're saved by grace through Jesus. Because he's perfect. He knows no sin. So. This is, this is highly essential in your walk with Christ. And through that grace man. We're supposed to become better. Like it's just. It's just the, the grace is the resting. Like you can rest in grace. And be prepared for the next opportunity. The next challenge to be better. That's what it is man. So, yeah, man, I hope this video truly helped y'all, man. Y'all have a blessed one. Take care.